I almost forgot to continue taking video of this motor. Got quite a bit of it out as you can see over there. I cut this side with the sawzall, cut it right off. So this piece right here is pretty heavy chunk. And I tried to use a crowbar and pry it to pull it out. Just kept ripping the wire, so I cut that off as well. Cut this side off with the grinder. Tried to cut it as smooth as possible. There's a little edge sticking up right here. I don't know if you can see it. So it made it hard to get close to it. So a lot of these ones aren't very flush. But it still works. I'm using this old tire. Just as a hollow bottom. I'll show you on one of the easy ones first. Do this one here and it's nice and flush. Got two pieces of threaded rod. Uh, I guess it's quarter inch and three eighths. Because it's thicker at the top and thinner at the bottom. So I just line this up and start hitting it in. Our little piece right here I use to push it through. Pump it up and pull it out the bottom. Normally comes out the bottom pretty easy. Biggest problem I'm having is to keep bending the things. Started off using longer pieces. The longer the piece is, the easier it bends. Even bent two, two tape together. Just put a piece of tape on there to kind of try to hold it together. Now we'll move on to a, another one that's a bit harder. Normally the smooth ones go easier than that last one, but. Tape is ripped because these things are bent. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to switch out to. One that isn't so bent, so I can bend it back a little bit. A little bit straighter, but got this tape right here. As well, use it.
pulled the tape right off. Sometimes that seems to happen. I'll show you underneath. Oh man, that thing's heavy. That pushes it out all in one piece. A lot of the time I would take this stuff off, but this stuff doesn't want to come off as easy as other stuff does. Normally I'll pull this stuff off all the time off of uh, transformers or smaller motors. And this one's not too bad. Some of it's really stuck on there. Guess I'll go through afterwards and try to pull some of it off. But for now, let's put it all in this pile. And we'll continue on this. quite time consuming if I keep bending these things I have to keep switching them out this one's getting way too bent another piece I don't know if I got any more quarter inch is the problem another piece of 3 8 right here you can also do it with just one piece it's a bit more of a pain When it's not flushly cut, you kind of have to work it back and forth to get all of it to move at once. Otherwise, you'll just push one section of it. It'll help if it's over the hole. Gets tiring swinging this hammer so much. Uh, quite a few more to go still. Might go ahead and try to cut some of these ones more flush. Just like turns it into powder, so it makes a mess and lose weight on the copper.
just gonna do this one last one. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that tire off the rim. I just like to switch it up. Just to get a break. So our arms start to get tired doing the same thing over and over. This is why it's so much better to have it flushly cut. Because when it's like this, you gotta work it all in. It's really a pain in the ass. Sometimes that happens. So it's good to have an extra piece sitting around. Okay. These, each one of these are pretty heavy, so it should add up, add up pretty quick. about halfway done. Go ahead and cut this tire. This blade doesn't look very dull, but it's not cutting very good anymore. Cut quite a few tires with it, so I think it's more like a, the rubber starting to clog it up or something. thing. Should got should have a new blade in the truck so
Not real new blades. This one's brand new. But pretty big teeth on it. much faster this is Much less effort, less time. I guess I should cut this tire off later. So I can use it to finish doing this. I don't know if I want to keep recording the whole time while I do this because it's going to take a while. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of these a bit more flush. That way it should go quite a bit quicker it out here a lot of gas can of gas over there oh shit try to wear my safety glasses while I got this head mount on the GoPro is on a head mount it's kind of in the way do that because it makes such a mess. Look at all this powder. I'm losing weight. Plus I gotta clean it up. All those little tiny shards go everywhere. So I'm gonna have to sweep up all of this area while it's wet. It's a pain in the ass. top of the thing starts to flatten out pretty good after a while.
lucked out on that one. Got to pull it upwards. These ones are working pretty, pretty easy. Yes. Working nice and easy. I'm gonna go ahead and try this long one instead. I don't know. It's a bit too long. It's easier to hit this one. Oh yeah, definitely should have just cut it flush in the beginning. First time I cut it, tried to cut it flush, I only got like, I don't know, five or six of them that were actually this flush. I don't know if you can see that, but just the back of it pushes out. I'll try to make sure I get all of it at once. Otherwise, you gotta try to pull it out after. Might not take too long after all. Got two more motors that are pretty much the same size, maybe a tiny bit smaller. I already put them in the truck because I was thinking this is going to be way too much work. I might as well sell them as they are. But now, I think maybe it's not too bad. I guess I should check where the dog is. She likes to lie on the hill behind that snowbank. <whistles> Lex! Lexus! <whistles> yeah. There you are. Good girl. You stay there. She'll lie there all day. Unless somebody from the building next door comes out and tries to come up and pet her. Two out of the way. I 
out. arms are starting to get tired. gonna be a long video I don't know if people like these long videos well I just record the whole time I like the look of the video much better and the sound quality seems to be a lot better when I film with my GoPro like this instead of on my iPhone pushing out a little bit right there so it's causing a lot more friction once I get all this stuff out go ahead and grab my scale weigh this, weigh the copper separate. Still gonna be quite a bit of work to clear all of that stuff off, but it shouldn't be much weight like taken off of there. Flatten out the top a little bit. There's people that live above my shop in some small apartments, so I have to try not to. Yeah, I can make noise, but I just try to be respectful and not keep going for hours on end of repetitive noise. But. Sometimes I gotta do what I gotta do.
holy shit, I only got three more. This one looks a bit smush. This one looks pretty easy. So I'm gonna go with the one that's a bit smush. A little bit of wire left in this one. Just making a mess. And becoming a problem. So I can pull that stuff out. Sometimes it's not too hard to pull out. <laughs> Here we go. Put this piece right here. This tire. Yeah. Stuff's nice and 
heavy. scale runs on batteries or you can plug it in I'm not certain that the batteries that are in it are still good we'll see in one minute turned on I don't know if you can see that Sixty two point one. Always like to pick it up. Always like to pick it up and put it back on it. Make sure it says the same weight. Well, I'll put it sideways. Sixty two point one. If the scale is a little bit off balance it will affect the weight so to make sure it's balanced double check so 62.1 that could be clean steel I guess it'd just be dealer clippings because it's all thin little pieces attached together they might even try to say it's shred okay yes Got a big mess going on right now. So let's see. 2.2 pounds. 21.6 so just about 20 pounds yeah. it's not too bad I guess maybe like 18 pounds once I take all this little bits of paper off of here that's not too bad Definitely takes quite a bit of work to get those motors apart, but fun experiment. I don't know if I'll do it all the time. Maybe I'll sell these other two motors I got and compare the pricing on the one I took apart compared to the ones that I sell. This one had a cast iron casing, so this one probably would have been better off just to sell as it was, but. It was already half taken apart when I got it, so I couldn't help myself. I guess that's it for now. Go ahead and finish cutting the tire off of here. Clean up these rims. Do a couple more things here. And I might go home, take a lunch break. If I do go take a lunch break, I probably won't make it to the scrapyard today. But that's all right. I'll probably go tomorrow anyways. Because I want to clean up all this engine block. It's out of a, some sort of BMW. Somebody dropped it off at my drop-off bin. The side of the building here. Along with all of these doors. So. I've taken some engine blocks apart before. I know they're a pain in the ass. Most of the time you end up with dirty aluminum still but I think I'm gonna take it on as a project and try to get as much clean aluminum out of it as I can because I already got this clean aluminum got a couple more pieces in here that I already cleaned up some other little bits of aluminum 
this big aluminum bar. So, plus I gotta sort all this wire. This is all motherboards from computers. Gotta, gotta get back here today and finish sorting some metal and cleaning up. Need to organize in here. It's way too, too clutter, too much clutter. It's driving me nuts. So I think that's it for today. If that's the end of the video, thanks for watching. So, gotta sort through a bunch of it. But maybe I'll use a picture like this, something like this, for my thumbnail for the video. Just about a thousand subscribers, which is crazy. Didn't think I would ever get that many. So, thank you everybody for watching. And try to post more often.